you play quite uh, the perhaps odd one out character in this play. Would you agree? Yeah, he's he's kind of like the outside the outside world from this this kind of microcosm that is Thames Mead. Um, he's he's kind of quite quite a middle class character. Um, he, he means well, uh, but he's he sort of found himself in this situation with this with this woman that he sort of worships on this estate. And obviously, over the course of the the play, the two weeks kind of that the play's set in, we said their their relationship kind of crack and fragment. And um, yeah, he re what? yeah he sort of realizes that he. Yeah, it doesn't quite belong there, I think. What's his role then in the play in terms of the close relationship and the kind of highlighting that gay relationship? Do you think he has anything to do in that? Because he's obviously the only other male. Yeah, not, not some... He doesn't really have that much to do with the gay relationship. He, he, he doesn't really comment on that. I, I'd say he's more of a... He is a, an outsider figure, sort of, and he's there to, I think, remind the audience that these, these people are comfortable with who they are. They don't particularly need help from you know people do do you know kind of who want to do well and 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 help them out and and sort of see them as as a, a kind of cause to fight for that they're, they're happy with with being who they are and they're getting on with their lives and and yeah and i think he's there to partly to remind us of that when you saw the script why did you feel so attracted to it why did you want to do this play well, I'd, I'd worked with Nikolai, the director, before, and I'd always, you know, since then I've always wanted to work with him again. Um, so that's one of the one of the reasons. Um, also, I mean, it's just it's just amazing. It's it's uh, you know, I didn't really, I I not had much contact with it, with the play before. So obviously, I did a bit of research into it and that, and you know, realised how much it meant to people, how important it was as a piece of theatre. And the 20th anniversary production is like, yeah, go on then. <laughs> what can this play do in terms of promoting gay rights or um, domestic violence or, or those sorts of issues that it grapples with? Well, I, I think the, the, when it was set, laws were different. You know, the age of consent was 21 for gay men, um, all that kind of thing. So, but the, the play doesn't explicitly go into detail about that. Um, I think, I think society is you know possibly more tolerant now and and you know kind of gay rights are spoken about more freely and you know we have we have gay marriage and and it's it's more in the public eye but there is still prejudice and you know it, you know it is it, bringing up those kind of you know those issues and and it, it'll always be relevant i think there'll always be people who who are you know anti-gay who are homophobic who are racist they're, 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 you know sadly i'm sure that sort of undercurrent will always, you know, exist, and and I think I think anything to, to sort of stir up the, the 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 debate and bring, you know, it's all good. And I think I think one of the, the sort of key points that we focus on is that it is a love story, and it just so happens to be two guys. The the play isn't isn't particularly political in in that respect, which is quite interesting. It just happens to be two guys, and the audience get on board, and it, and and that's one of the the you know the quite amazing things. Beautiful. Yes, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Now, after this has finished, I know sob sobs. Often think about that, but what will you be doing next? Where's your career going to take you? I'm not sure yet. Who knows? I mean, we've we've got um, another like ten weeks of this, nine weeks of this. So we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'm sure there'll be you know casting for stuff for the autumn seasons. Um, we'll you know. Watch this space.